Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, Boston Beast 31, and I'm coming back at you with a new UNLV Rebels Dynasty here on YouTube. And first things first, we're going to go over some recruiting that I did before I started this episode. We are targeting this five star free safety in California. He's the number one free safety in this year's class, Mr. Marcus Beck. And some other players that we are having our eye on, including some other players that I can't remember. I think Troy Hicks was a, a gym. He's going to be a gym if he can stay up because we got one more week of scouting him until we get a full um, 100% scouted. So that's just a little rundown on scouting and recruiting. Our pipeline states. We're going to lose Nevada, so I'm going to try and recruit some Nevada kids. But this is week one, and we are facing off against the number 19th ranked Penn State Nittany Lions. We're going to let them rock their traditional head, um, uniforms today, as usual. And for us, if we can, we can rock another pair of pants. We cannot, so that sucks for us. But... We will hop into this. We are rocking a 3-4 multiple defense. And I will not be providing commentary on my end, but I will let the game, audio, and everything fill out with how it will be. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I put a lot of time into these. And I cannot edit my videos, but I hope you guys enjoy. And um, without further ado... I'll get through the player screen, players to watch and stuff like that, and there should be nobody hurt on either team, but also, yeah, um, no recruiting visits as of right now. So, they come in at an 86 overall, we come in at a 79, 83 offense versus 86. So it's going to be a tough matchup for us. Jay Brown's safety. So Washington's their best player on offense. As you see in the thumbnail, Tate Martell is our quarterback, and he was a former Big Ten quarterback himself at Ohio State before he transferred. And he is going to be, like I said, our starting quarterback for week one against the Penn State Nittany Lions. And I will see you all with stats at halftime. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nestled in the Pennsylvania Hills, one of the great venues in college football. Beaver Stadium in University Park, Pennsylvania. The crowd will be right on top of these guys. It will certainly be loud in this stadium today, and we're just about set to kick off. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the head. lined up to kick the ball off first and we are ready to go and there's the opening kick of the season he'll take it from the two he makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line the rebels have a new head man new theories new hopes new dreams will there be new wins we'll find out now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it And down he goes around the 38-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Brought down around the 48-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Right and left, right and left. Go down, go down. I got one, I got one, I got one. Two. 
He's scrambling, and he tackles him hard at the 42. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges him to start playing a little bit better. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 42. Breaks one. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's taken down at the 35 yard line. Gain of five on the play. First down. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. Man left, man left. Going down, going down. 41's coming, 41 the mic. Check, check. Look, run, run, run. Makes it to the 22-yard line. On the tackle. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's on the run. Tackle at the 16-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And he is drilled at the two. I think they'll try to get a few yards on the ground here and get a little bit of breathing room. We've got a safety. What an effort by the defense, and they move ahead. You get the lead, you get the ball back, and now you've also got momentum on your side. I'd say that's a pretty enormous play. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 50-yard line. UNLV holds just a two-point lead. They'll bring him down at the 34. You know, talking with the offensive coordinator this week, he told us that he has a lot of confidence in his quarterback to make good decisions. And when he feels like he has an opportunity to put the ball up, he knows the receivers that he can count on to be able to make big plays. That's another example of that. The receiver goes up in the traffic and makes a big play for a first down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. From the 34-yard line, second down. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Nice run there. Williams picks up about seven yards on the run. Third down. receiver screenplay he's taken down at the 27 excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down so the kicker comes out he'll try to put three points on the board it's up looks long enough and he splits the uprights Gutierrez gets set to kick this one away 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. They come out in a five wide set. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. First down. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. He's tackled at the one. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. Mike 41, Mike 41. Mike 41. Touchdown, UNLV. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 31-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rebels have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. And they got him for a loss. The misdirection wasn't fooling the defense at all. That shows some really solid preparation and discipline to stay with their assignments. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Throws it deep. It's complete. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Penn State to kick. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27-yard line. UNLV showing no fear early in this football game, Kirk, and they're looking for the upset. They are looking for the upset. And the longer they stick around in a game like this, I think the more that they believe they can actually pull it off. It looks like they, we may have ourselves a ball game today. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. This offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Tackle 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. There are three quarters remaining. UNLV lead is five. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Mike 41, Mike 41. He sails it long. The defender had it and then dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. It's third down and five to go. Ball in the 48. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. He hits a low one there. How about that decision? That was not a good play call. Fourth and short with your team in this situation, you got to go for it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Up the middle for a nice game. Lee gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. They line up in the jumbo set. And they hit him in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down. They're deep in their own territory. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Johnson is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. Johnson takes it at the 47, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. Picks up about nine on the scramble. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Man left, man left. He's in trouble. And down he goes around the 26-yard line. Setting up play action. He's got an opening, and he got it to the sophomore. Brought down around the 20-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. out to his wideout. Touchdown, Rebels! That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. 
A quick update now. Here's Reese. There is no one you want to beat worse than you want to beat your sibling. Utah and Utah State in the Battle of the Brothers. The Utes defense is frothing at the mouth after the pick six. Utah on top, 7-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. UNLV lines up for the kickoff. Party back deep to return. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Check 15, check 15. Let's go! Green 88! Looks for his tight end over the middle. And he's taken down at about the 41. They come out on an empty backfield. They make the stop around the 48-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackle around the 14-yard line. He gets rid of this one. From the 14-yard line. Second down. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. Number seven makes the tackle at the four-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Pressured and brought down. The quarterback didn't have any time to find the open man. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. his own goal line. Tackle made the 17-yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Got a man. Watch out here. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 35. First down. from their own 35-yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That'll bring up second and 11. Roger, Roger. Mike 41, Mike 41. He scrambled. Caught and he's hit immediately. Makes the tackle at the 38 yard line. That makes it third and seven. From their own 38 yard line, it's third down. He chucks it downfield. 
It's broken up, so that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Washington back deep to return. And he has it on the corner. Fielded at the 19. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 41-yard line. Clifford picks up about seven yards on the scramble. The Nittany Lions taking their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That close to being intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Penn State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That was a loss of four yards. That brings up fourth and seven. So they're going to go for it here. He airs it out. Almost picked off. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. The Rebels lead it by nine. And if you are still watching, I thank you for all the support that you put into this. And let's get into our own halftime show without having to hear David Pollock and the other guy talk. We're coming up on minute 28 right here, and let's do the stats. Tate Martell, 146 passing, 72% completion percentage. Not, not great, but very, very efficient. Charles Williams, 54 yards rushing. Compared to Tate's four. And McGurr, I think that's how you say his name. He's got like four yards rushing as well. Very balanced passing attack. That's why you like to use the spread offense. Everybody gets at least one touch. You have blocking. We've only given up one sack of that fire tight end. Uh, we've had one pick. Yes, we had one pick, and that was by Mr. Jacoby Weinman from Louisiana. Got a return yardage of 16 yards. We've had two deflections, one by Tyson Player right there before the end of the half, and then no Williams. Williams also by the end of the half. Both are true sophomores, and they are both 72 and 73 overall, respectively. As for the State Nittany Lions, Sean Clifford is not playing well, which is very strange. Some of their stats for the Nittany Lions, they've given up two sacks, both by the same right guard. And their interception was caught by Mr. Cam Miller, a true freshman from Alamante Springs. Oh, right at With all that said, that took about two minutes. 
I don't know why it's showing the Air Force sign up there, but I'll see you all at the end of the game if I don't do a post-game comment here. Thanks for watching so far. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Down the sideline. He's taken down at the 22. Runs it left for a decent game. That'll make it second and four. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That'll bring up third and eight. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 20-yard line. Hey, alert three, alert three. And he just gets rid of it. Check, check one, three. Check three, 25, check and they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. And they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. UNLV up six. Fires that quickly incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 16. They come out in a five wide set. Off, brought down quickly. No gain on the play. That brings up third and ten. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws it to cover. It just picked off. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 20. He's scrambling, and he has it on the corner. Brought down at the 11-yard line. Five wide. Kill, 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 kill. 
Lee on the handoff. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of four yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. Just inside the five. Second down. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 23-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 20-19. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 31 yard line. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up 36. run and he's brought down call it a gain of six yards that makes it first and ten from their own 37 yard line it's first down he's got the corner and he's shoved out of bounds at the 48 that's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. 41's coming, 41's a mic. Back, back, back. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. The pressure definitely got to the quarterback. The defense was just sitting on that. They were in zone coverage. As soon as they saw he was in trouble, they were all over the football. From their own 31-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 34. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Penn State with a one-point lead. He laterals the ball. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. First 
So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Makes it out to about the 39. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Check nine, check nine. Go! This is the eight. He might have a chance. They come out in an empty backfield. Gets out to around the 22. The cavalry's coming. Slings it. Touchdown, Penn State! the tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. He splits the uprights with the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Gets out to about the 21. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And he's going to be sacked. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Hold on for a wild ride in the fourth quarter if this one follows suit. Penn State leads 27-19. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tackle around the 48-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught enough for the first down. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. King makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Run it! Fires out to his wideout. That's a great tackle at the 35. On the tackle at the 35 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 35. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Roger, Roger. 
He can't miss. Tackle made at the 30. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. They're going to try a long field goal here. And it's good! UNLV ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And for Clifford, what a night it's been. Boy, he's really the X factor. Just when the defense thinks they have him contained, he's able to break away and improvise and pick up 20 more yards running. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. Third down. Got a man tackled for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. Fourth down. Johnson is back deep to return. The Rebels have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Just under three to go in regulation. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Game of 17 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Quick pass, intercepted. He's at the 20, and he's tackled around the nine-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's on the run. converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Trojans entered the day ranked number 15. That loss will now damage their position in the poll. Who in the world saw this one coming? Not me. A major upset is done. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. 
Going right to his tailback. Brought down around the 43-yard line. That's a game 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Collins is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He chucks it downfield. He goes up and gets it. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Throws incomplete. He was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Nine yards to the goal line. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. Fires over the middle, touchdown. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Gutierrez needs a good bounce for a possible recovery here. Tackle made at the 42. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. A little over a minute in the game. Nice run up the middle. And the option to the halfback gets six yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he brought down in the backfield. The Rebels will use their first time out of the half. That'll bring up third and six. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Penn State, 34, UNLV, 29. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. And that's going to do it for this week one matchup against Penn State, where the improbable almost happened where we almost beat the number 19 team in the country. And if you made it this far in the video, I cannot thank you enough for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment what you want to see fixed for the next episode, or just feedback in general about the team, who you think the starting quarterback will be. But it's still going to be Tate Martell in my book. But overall, I think we played pretty well, except that one interception right there. Well. So, all that said, that's a great screenshot of the computer generated for me. But um, overall, I'm pleased with the performance. And most importantly, we're just going to look at the stats. Charles Williams, don't know why I wanted to do that late in the game, but it gave us a little spark. But Justin Rogers. 
Tate Martell, that's going to be a quarterback battle. Martell played great for the first three quarters, and Rodgers played well up until that pick. So we're just going to have to see what happens with those three interceptions are going to be costing us. So we'll see. Running the ball was not very well put together today. Um, again, like I said at halftime, all around terrific, terrific effort to get the ball out. Not a lot of drops, not like I thought, but we had three sacks on the offensive line today. Um, Windman led us with tackles today, and he also got that pick. And sacks today goes to the senior, six foot seven senior, Mr. Connor Murphy, and then Owaski. Let's say that's how you say his name. He got one as well. And nobody cares about kickers or punters. Um, next week either should be an open week or it should be a um, conference game. I can't remember who we have next scheduled. But hopefully we get some commits down the road and this is a step in the right direction for the program even though we did keep beat by five points to the Big Ten favorite. So, that's going to do it for this one. And again, I'm sorry that these episodes are so long, but Arizona, a Pac-12 opponent. So we are playing host to them in week two. And I'll record that video as fast as possible. And I'll wait for you all to you all provide feedback here after this episode is uploaded. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, this is Boston Beast 31, signing out.